Having trouble feeling target muscles on certain exercises? Watch this. Next caller is Wendy from California. Wendy, what's happening? How can we help you? Hi, how are you guys? It's so nice to meet you guys. Hey. hey. Oh, so I'm calling because I'm on a fitness journey. I've kind of been on it for like a year, but um, I feel like I'm still relatively a, a newbie at everything. Um, I have two main issues. My first one is the most frustrating one, and it's I don't feel like I'm connecting with my muscles, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, very common. Did you want to ask the second okay. question, or do you want us to answer that one first? Uh, please answer this one yeah, first. No problem. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so a couple things. One is some exercises, um, and, and depending on how you do them, it's not super important necessarily to try mm -hmm. to feel a particular muscle, like a deadlift or a squat, if I'm doing it for strength, I just want to perfect the movement. Uh, but there's other times when you want to kind of feel a target muscle. And the best way to do that is to slow the reps down, hold the squeeze okay. portion of the rep. So like the, the part of the rep where you're finishing the rep and you're squeezing the muscle. So slow down, focus on the squeeze, and then do higher reps. Typically, that gets the person to start to feel the target muscle that they're working. We're, we're, I'm going to send you a program of ours that is perfect for this. Um, it's map symmetry. The first two weeks of it is isometric. So the, the part that Sal's talking about, learning how to squeeze uh, a, a muscle and, and focusing on that in an exercise, we have a program where we actually program that in to teach you how to do that for every muscle group. You doing that for a couple weeks you'll start to get that mind muscle connection. And then when you go to the exercises in the, the following weeks, you apply the technique that Sal said that's going to help out. Now, do you notice it uh, more so in, in like, I, yeah. I'm assuming when you do a bicep curl, you probably feel your biceps, but then maybe filling your butt in squats is hard. Like which yeah. ones have been difficult for you? Or, yeah, back. So, um, Really, it was, it's actually my back and my arms that I have trouble with because I feel like I'm mostly using, so like if I'm doing rows or if I'm uh, doing anything that works out my tricep, I can't feel it. I feel like it's all forearm. Okay. Oh, interesting. Mm, yep. Yeah, slow down, focus on the squeeze. So what you're doing is like, let's say you're doing a tricep press down, give yourself four <laughs> seconds to do the rep. Then at the bottom, really squeeze the tricep real hard for like two seconds and then come up real slow. And keep the reps somewhat higher. I'd say twelve reps, twelve to fifteen reps, and that should start to get. You should start to feel the the target muscle if you do that. There is a YouTube video I did on Mind Pump TV. I'm look. I'm going to look for the title. Maybe Andrew can help me. It's on tricep pushdowns. So, my, and I actually go through step by step uh, the technique when people have a hard time feeling it in their triceps. Uh, the maybe, video is called "Do Cable Tricep Pushdowns Like This." All right. Did you get that? So, okay, yeah. Yep. So yeah. check that out. That'll that'll give you like a detailed video of what Sal's kind of talking about. I, yeah. I get into that. By, by the way, if you're feeling it in your hands and your forearms, you might be squeezing the bar or the rope too hard. So sometimes what helps, especially when you go lighter, is you loosen your grip just a little bit. Now, I don't always recommend this, but in this case, you may be squeezing so hard that what's fatiguing is your hands and your forearms before anything else. And then when it gets to uh, mm -hmm. things like a seated row, uh, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. having a hard time feeling the back, a lot of times that is because when people are doing the row, they're allowing their shoulders to roll forward and they're pulling with their arms and you need mm -hmm. to pull your shoulder mm -hmm. blades back. I think we have another video on that also yeah. on Mind Pump TV mm -hmm. where we get into great detail on how to do that. And that's probably why you feel when your arms, because your arms Opening are doing and pulling it. Your, your chest towards, especially anything for the back, like in lat pull downs, especially too, like focusing on that part of it to really open up and allow your uh, back muscles to contract. Um, you know, that's all part of it too. So it's, it's some of its technique, but also slowing it down and then really kind of training yourself to just kind of produce and intrinsically squeeze the muscle harder, make them more tense uh, at that bottom position. Okay, so do you feel like um, once I, I finish that program, I'd be able to um, like understand when someone's saying like squeeze with your back, I'd be able to to really connect yeah. with my mm -hmm. back to be able to yeah. yep. achieve that. Look, what you're doing right now where you just did that little movement, you were squeezing your back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, oh. sometimes you have to develop them. I mean, you, let me put it this way. You wouldn't be able to do the movement if the muscles weren't working. So, oh, okay. so yeah, so the muscles are working. It's just, you got to keep getting stronger, keep getting a connection to it, get it, slow down the reps, and eventually be able to feel it more. 
but they're working. I mean, you just <laughs> yeah. pulled your shoulder blades back. The muscles that did that were in the mid back. So they definitely are working. Okay, cool. Right. Um, and then my second issue that I have is my form. Um, so again, because I'm not really connecting with my body, um, when I try to, to focus on my form, I feel like I'm not really getting it down. So I know, so if I'm doing a squat, you know, chin to your chest and, you know, focus and, and what I'm supposed to do fundamentally, but I can't get my body to go through with it. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so do you have any of our programs? Are you watching our videos on how we teach exercise? So, um, I don't have any programs. I just listen to you guys. Okay. So that's, this is going to help out a lot. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Having the the map symmetry program, there's videos, Mm, tutorials, uh, on, on form technique. And then the next level to that is actually to use our YouTube channel, mind pump TV, because on there, what you're describing right now is why all of us had jobs for two decades is because the queuing part, right? Teaching a, a, a relatively new person to the gym, how to cue them to get them to do the movement better. And a lot of that is just practice. And we, we tried to do a really good job of putting out some of the best videos and cues and things that we did to help people with squatting, with deadlifting, with rowing. And so if you just go to the Mind Pump TV YouTube yeah. channel and put in uh, the exercise and Mind Pump, you should see some pretty good demo videos for That's what you're looking for. Best place to go for troubleshooting. Um, our programs are amazing for you know getting the cues and be able to kind of like watch and mimic uh, how they're performing the exercise. But in to get into the nuance of it all. Um, that's really where we, we took our time kind of explaining all of the different, um, uh, nuances of the exercise. So I would go there first. Okay, cool. cool. All right. That, that all sounds awesome. You got it. But we'll send you map symmetry. Okay, Wendy. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You got all it. Right, Thanks Wendy. for calling in. All right. This is where working with a good trainer is like invaluable. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I could, I could, she's saying, I don't feel this. I don't feel that. Yeah. Literally one session, I could get her feel those muscles just with the right cues and to having her know where to squeeze and what position. That that alone is so it's easy, but it's not right. Well, it's, I mean, you, I mean, that's a great, that's a great. Yeah. Uh, she's going to listen to this, and so that's what a great investment. You know, you have we're going to give you map symmetry, so you're going to have a great program. If you had a good coach or trainer, uh, if and if you don't have a friend that you know that is one, then ha- hiring one for even a even a short five to 10 sessions mm-hmm. would be a great investment yep. and, and to have them take you through the, the the program and like just teach you the form and technique and the cues right. it would be uh, extremely valuable. 